Hey everybody, I want to take a minute and share with you a leadership thought, but before I do, I just want to tell you where I am. I am in the most incredible log cabin overlooking Sneedville, Tennessee. I cannot imagine a cabin being any more unbelievable than this cabin. Um, we are with a few of our leaders up here today, uh, Friday and Saturday, and this is one of four trips that we'll be taking with different people in leadership at the church, people who lead ministry teams on the North Campus, people who lead ministry teams on the East Campus, people who lead small groups. And so it's early morning and I'm being a little bit quiet because people are still in bed. Uh, I've heard a few people stir around, but I wanna share with you this thought, this leadership thought that I think as an organization grows, as a church grows, as we grow, we have to keep this in mind. And here's the thought. When we grow, as we grow, as we have grown, we cannot afford to keep each other where we met each other. We can't keep each other where we met each other. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Melissa and I, two of our good friends, Dennis and Ashley Vaughn, Okay, right after we met them, they became a part of a small group we were leading in our home on Wednesday night. It's the life group. They were a part of our first semester life group. Then the second semester rolled around and they were in the second semester life group at our house. And then when we were doing a life group for a third semester, they hung out with us for a third semester. And man, we became so close to them. It, it, Wednesday night, 6.30 at the Creech House, that was just something we did every, every week. And so we, I remember getting to a point where I realized th those two would be incredible small group leaders and people love them. So I said, hey, why don't you guys lead a small group? And I remember Ashley's response, what, not be here at your house on Wednesday night? I think I'm gonna go through some kind of withdrawal, you know, I'm gonna have to detox from the Creech House or something. And it's a perfect example of us getting so comfortable that we refuse to allow God to grow us into the people that we, we are intended to be. Now Dennis and Ashley lead their own life group in their own house on Tuesday nights. So Melissa and I now on Tuesday nights are leading a group with the a, with a Cook family on the west side of town and Bobby Ewing leading a life group at the East Campus on Wednesday nights. The Vaughns leading a group. I, I remember JW and Xenia Scott, JW just, just went on to be with the Lord. They were in our first small group we ever led. And I remember having the same conversation with JW and Xenia. Hey, why don't you guys lead a group? And I remember the same reaction. So here's the deal, we can't afford to to keep each other where we met each other. It's not fair to anybody. It's not fair to you uh, in the abilities God's put in your heart, the influence that he's given you with people uh, in the church and in the community. It's not fair to me, it's not fair to any of us. So as we grow, and especially, listen, you leaders, as you do your groups and ministry teams, look around you, see who God has just seemed to put his radar on, uh, his finger on, that, that you think, man, you know what, they would be great at leading a small group as well. And as close as we get as friends, let, let's, the Vaughns still hang out at our house, okay? But the deal is, they're now having other people hang out at their house. So as you lead ministry teams and ministry groups, keep your eyes open for those people that God just seems to have something going on in their heart that you think, man, they would be great leaders, and then encourage them to go out and lead ministry. God bless you. Remember, we can't afford to keep each other where we met each other.